So today, I am tearing apart these um, Air Jordan 1 Lows, as you can see, and I'm making my own pattern so then I could uh, make my own shoes. So what I've been doing is just tearing the whole shoe apart. As you can see, I ripped this all apart and I kind of wanted to bring you along and show you how I do this. But first, I pretty much take all these pieces apart and I put them in their own little pieces. I trace them out. From there, it's pretty much a puzzle. I put them all together. That's just a brief exclamation on it. You know, it's a lot more complicated than that. But I mean, for this, if you could like look around and just check it out. If you uh, deconstruct your own shoe, you could just see the internals just from looking at this. For example, you know, you got your heel counter right there. And if you hear this, but you know, it's it's all hard. So that's that's what gives the heel its shape. You could just learn the stuff that's inside if you tear this apart for example this just has glue underneath it if you keep on ripping underneath here you know there's just all the padding is right along this area there's also padding underneath the wing so i mean if you tear if you start tearing shoes apart like right there there's some padding underneath there i don't use that but i mean the shoe has it underneath it so with this that being said you know if you tear these shoes apart Maybe, you know, you get a used pair, get um, a cheap pair, so you aren't wasting all your money if that's um, what you're concerned about. But, I mean, taking these shoes apart, you learn what's inside, what all makes the shoe up. Um, you're able to trace all the pieces out. You're able to uh, pretty much make your own patterns and make your own shoes. Little fun fact, I got these um, Jordan 1s at, I think, Champs or Foot Locker when they were $90 retail and now they're around like 200 bucks or something like that So that's pretty funny cuz I tore these bad boys up unless you know, maybe I could resell them You never know, you know get full retail. These are dead stock. They've never been worn So I mean hey, I do have a chance, but this just shows all the time and All the trials that I've gone through. I mean here's one pattern right here Here's some other patterns that I made. Here's some other patterns that I made and none of them have worked. I am now on probably my fourth or fifth time and I finally got it right. And it took me about three, four days. And three, four days of, you know, eight, 10 o'clock in the morning till eight o'clock at night. So pretty much 12 hour days for those. So that just shows how much time, you know, it takes into getting these down to a T because I mean, tracing each of these, they're, they're shaped differently just from how I took them apart, how they were made in the factory, stuff like that. So, I mean, this one's a little curved, so then you gotta stretch it. You might not tell on the camera, but see as it's a little curved, and then if you just stretch it a little bit, now it's back to straight. So, I mean, you gotta worry about that stuff when you're tracing this stuff out. As you can see, you know, this is all indented out, so you also have to pull that because it's kind of crunched in with that you know but for the most part the jordans that i'm making are not these jordans they're kind of a modified version that i'm going with i'm using some of the air force ones um patterns stuff like that and using that as a back so i mean that just shows the diversity into these shoes and what's all going into them once i make the shoe it will make more sense but i mean just for this sake you also have to um trace out the lining because as you see the lining you gotta you gotta check out where all the stitches are for example so this stitch has a backward stitch or inside out stitch that stops right there so if i'm making the shoes i would have the liner inside out and i would stitch from this point all the way around to that point and then from there cut it and stitch it along the line so that's just some stuff to it that goes all along with it. I'm rambling for a while right here, so I'm gonna show you some time lapses of me tracing stuff out, cutting stuff out, and then from there, hopefully we could start cutting leather out today and, and pretty much get the shoe together. So let's go to some um, B-roll. I might do some talking over it, but for now, let's get to that.
So all the patterns are now cut out. As you can see, I'm starting to cut materials out already. For the white, I'm using white mesh. Haven't used mesh before, so I'm super excited to see how this turns out. It's mostly gonna be black with some with a white toe, white mid. Um, it's gonna be red pig suede for the Nike sign and possibly the inside of the tongue or the inside liner as well. The black is either gonna be black suede or flat black leather. I'm not too sure yet, but I'm just gonna keep on cutting materials and see where we go. So as you can see, the mids have mesh on them. We got the black pieces on the back tab. I cut out all my back black pieces already. We got the toes as well as the toe liners. We got the back tabs. The Nike sign, as I said, is gonna be red. Red, liner's gonna be red. The tab, I think I'm gonna do a white tongue tab with black on the inside, white facing outside, or vice versa, or maybe just do red, I don't know. But we'll do that when we get there. But as you see, the shoe's slowly coming along. Um, I'm gonna do a black, let's go on this side. I'm gonna do a black double stitch all the way around. From there, I'll put on the back tab, stitch all that up. So we're slowly coming along. I'm super happy with how this is turning out for the first time stitching this pattern together. So we're just gonna start stitching and see where we go. So day two, I'm making these shoes. As you can see, I changed out the black leather for some suede leather, and why I changed it out is because it's thicker. I also color the edge, change it up a little bit, a little red. We were gonna go with um, red Nike signs, so it's gonna go well with each other. But I changed it up just because it's thicker. Um, I feel like it gives it a little bit higher quality as well as just gives it some better shape, some better sturdiness on the back end. And all the other black pieces will be using the same suede. So that's what we're going with right now. So now I'm gonna stitch this bad boy on. Boom, just like that, we got the red suede, we got the black suede. If you see, we got the edge that I colored red. That goes all the way across and all the way down there, just a little touch, you know. But they're coming out really clean so far. The next step is to put the tab on, then do the wings, do the, the eyelet or the, the lace loops, if that's what you wanna call it. And from there, you know, pretty much put the liner on and they're all done. But I'm super happy with how the pattern is turning out so far. As you can see, it pretty much looks like a, a Nike shoe. Slowly coming together, but surely. So as you can see, I now got the liner on the inside. I went with red instead of black. I'm super happy though with how it's turning out so far. As you can see, you got the red liner, or not liner, but like the edge. Then we got the lace loops that also has the red on the side, reds on the edges. I'm gonna stitch those on right there, but I mean so far, they're looking pretty cool, pretty sweet. For the back tab, as you can see, I just went with a, a simple black stitch. You got the red edge. And that's pretty much it for now. So I'm just gonna keep on stitching for now and see how this, uh, this slowly comes along. But I mean, so far it's uh, looking out pretty cool.
So just like that, we are done for the day. All I gotta do is finish the toe, finish the tongue, put it all together, last it up, and they're all finished. But for the most part, I pretty much got the main chunk of them done. I got the, the liner done, as you can see the foam on the inside. I gotta change that up a little bit, but not too much. I gotta change up the angle at the, um, that, that it's curving up, because I'm not, I'm not really a fan of that. I don't really think that's very accurate. So on the next patterns, I'm just gonna be changing the, um, the angle up a little bit and now solve it. But other than that, I mean, I think they're pretty much spot on. I love the details, as I said earlier, with like the edges. All the edges have red among them, just like the video game Among Us. But hey, these are looking great. Also right here, the mesh, it has a cream layer that's this color underneath. So there's, as you can see, white and cream. So the leather underneath that is an off-white like cream color. So if you rip this off, you get that color. Um, I'm not going to be ripping this off, but the, the pair that I'm going to be making in the future will be like a tearaway pair. So you'll be able to rip this uh, material off to get a different color if you'd like. So that's going to be like some more uh, customization stuff that I'll be upgrading for uh, future shoes. So that'll be pretty cool. But for now, this is where we're at. We got red suede, red suede. We got the jersey mesh. I like to call it jersey mesh just cause it's like a jersey pretty much. We got black suede and, and that's it. Um, for the toe, it's gonna be um, black with a white box, white toe box. Um, and then the tongue, I think I might either do all white or all black, I'm not too sure. The inside will be um, red, the part that touches your um, foot. And probably some white laces. We're gonna use white soles with I'm not too sure what color on the bottom. So we're gonna we're gonna get there when we get there. But for the most part, these are them. Checking out this video, hopefully you learned something. This is me taking along the process of making my own patterns, figuring out how they look once I put them all together, all the um, trial and error, you know. I had to do these about six, seven different times until I finally got comfortable to cut out the materials and stitch them together. And that's where we are now. As you see, you know, I got to change up a couple angles, but other than that, they're going to be spot on and ready to make more. But that's just, you know, along the process of shoe making. But thanks for checking out this video. I'll be making more soon on this shoe and the full on process of changing up the patterns. But until then, see you later. Make sure to turn on notifications and thanks for watching.